I'm John Bridges. I work at the theater school at DePaul. I've been here 31 years. I'm the assistant dean. On the Vincentian Heritage Tour that I took, I already knew some things about Vincent, and I expected to learn more, and I did. I knew that he was very concerned with the poor. What I did not know was that the people he wanted to help encompass more than just poor, you know, sick people. And also when we were at the Museum of Public Assistance, taking a tour, one spot, there was a model of a, like, hospital-type building back in Vincent's day. And what it was for, or one of its purposes was, it was for people to drop off unwanted uh, newborns. Vincent worked with them because he saw the the dignity of, of all people, including unwanted children. The model of the building had this structure on it that kind of like a UPS or FedEx drop box, a version of that, but it was rather crude. And I guess people, I guess mainly women, would put the newborn in that slot and it would somehow turn and then the newborn would be inside and someone at the orphanage would then take it. And it affected me because my oldest sister was born at the St. Vincent de Paul Orphanage in Chicago. The building is still there. I think it's run by the Archdiocese of of Chicago now, but then it was an orphanage. Uh, My mom is from downstate Illinois. She moved up to Chicago during World War II alone. She didn't know anyone. She ended up getting pregnant, didn't decide. I, I remember when I talked to her about it, she said, of course, she was going to keep the, she was going to have the baby, but she hadn't decided what to do. But she ended up having the baby at the St. Vincent de Paul Orphanage, uh, my sister Kathleen. And uh, Kathleen actually stayed at the orphanage for a number of months after she was born. My mom was 20. And eventually my grandparents officially adopted Kathleen and she was raised as my aunt. And so I guess what happened when I saw that model of the building on, on the tour, what struck me about it was that Vincent's work with children and that evolved into many different things, including the St. Vincent de Paul Orphanage in Chicago. Had that not been there, I don't know if I would not only know of my oldest sister, but would I be in touch with her? And she's now in her 60s with five children. She has grandchildren, and she even has great-grandchildren. So it was just that making that connection between what Vincent did for orphans 400 years ago and how it kind of brought it home for me.